you might have an image that looks something like this and we'll turn it into something like this. Hello and welcome to our next chapter where I will be guiding you through image to image in Think Diffusion where we will be adding a unique style to your photograph or image. Let's get started. We are now back inside Automatic 11.11 in Think Diffusion. This is the default view and we're going to enter this tab here, image to image, and we're going to transform one image to another. Now I have prepared a stock image here, which is this man. I'm going to drag and drop this particular image into the area here. So this will be our base for our output image. And I'm going to put in here man in glasses. You can basically put in whatever you want. Just bear in mind, it's going to read the colors of this image and try to recreate the next image with these colors and your prompt. This will be dependent on some of the settings down here. So first off, I want this to be a square image. So I'm just going to put it to 1024 by 1024. But this image is not square. So this will not work for image. We need to change this to crop and resize. If you are using the same dimensions here and on the output, you can just keep this default. We're also going to change the denoising strength here. So this slider goes from 0 to 1, and that is how much your image will change. Setting this at 0 will change your image nothing, as you can see in the output that we will have here. So this is basically the same image. You can see that it is cropped to our resolution. And if you set this to one, for example, you will have a completely new image that is not reading from the input here at all. So we need to have a fine line here with the denoising strength. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to set this at about, I would say a good value here is between 0.4 and 0 0.6. I'm going to do 0 0.55 here. And let's see if we make too high of a value, we can just lower it a little bit. So we have manning glasses. I'm going to also select a style here. So let's try the cyberpunk style here and let's generate this and see what we get. So our preferable outcome would be a character that looks similar to the left one here. And it kind of does. However, we've got a lot of new colors. We got a purple jacket here. The polo is still there. The glasses are here. It's a different color. It's very similar to our original. Now, if you want this to be even more similar, you're going to have to lower the denoising strength. So let's put this at 0.45, for example. And if we generate this again now, we will be closer to our input image. And as you can see here now, it's a little closer. However, we're still introducing a lot of changes to the image. So let's keep sliding this down. Let's go to 0.3 here, for example, which is quite low. But you can see in the output here that we're getting closer and closer to our input image. So depending on how much you want the image to change, you can play with this slider and also with the prompt here. This prompt cyberpunk will introduce a lot of color changes. As you can see here, we're barely changing anything at all. It's still a different image, but not the same one. Now let's see if we can turn this into a pixel art character. So you have the man in glasses. We need to raise the denoising again. Let's do 0.4 for example. We are generating again and we have a new character here that looks similar to the first image, but it's not the same image and it's not in a pixel art style then you need to introduce more changes into the image so now we will increase the denoising strength let's try 0.6 here and we are generating again now we will be further from the input image might be closer to our pixel art style as you can see we're still keeping the pose we're not really getting that pixel art so what you could do here is increase the denoising even further now we will be closer to the pixel art however we might lose the coherence of the input image as you can see clearly didn't manage with this image this is where we will need to implement control nets. This will be in another chapter, but let me just quickly show you the outcome of what will happen. I have loaded the control net and I'm not changing anything else with this image. So hopefully this input with the pixel art style and the control net together with image to image will give us an image that is closer to 
this. And as you can see, we kind of got that. And if we zoom in on this, we can see that it's trying to be pixelated. Now this needs to be fine tuned, of course, but we're gonna cover that in an upcoming chapter where we go through control net. Now image to image here will mainly capture the colors and it will be hard to control all aspects of your, of your image. However, it worked fairly well with the cyberpunk style. We could try a digital art and a 3D model here, which I think will work a little bit better and if we generate this again now at the 0.6 denoising, you can see that this kind of result is much, much better. So there are some things you can do with image to image, and there are some things that are a little harder to accomplish. I hope this will have helped you to get a better grasp of what you can do with image to image and how you can work with it. And I'll see you in the next chapter.